Hey everyone, ZeroJetty here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Limb Hunter, a game where you play as a robot hunting down and killing other infected robots. If you look at me here, I'm actually a mishmash of different pieces. It's called Limb Hunter for a specific reason. Uh, when you kill enemies once in a while, they'll drop parts of themselves, and it's actually the currency they also drop that you use to uh, buy these parts and upgrade yourself. Once in a while, you'll also come across them in uh, stash containers, but uh, as you can see, I got these two guns here that uh, fire only three times, but they do a chunk of damage. Uh, my body parts also give me a shield, which you can see the bottom left, and a pretty decent amount of health. Above that, there's some kind of computer chip. Not sure what that is. In the upper right, it's got my currency there. Uh, I just recently beat the uh, first boss, and now I'm at one of these service stations, which uh, saves your progress and uh, refills your health. And we're going to quickly peek in here. If you look in the upper left, you can see my current uh, loadout. I got some uh, blue parts for my head, body, and legs. I got those two guns I was telling you about. The upper right green thing there that kind of looks like a backwards claw thing facing to the left is a uh, shield it gives me extra shield i think it's extra shield or faster yeah extra shield the blue thing on the bottom right uh is a uh, health booster and then that little square is a fire damage but you can see my stats in the middle there which are affected by all these different things here uh, i got two of these pulsers right here that says unlocked here uh, as you can see stuff is like 2000 1000 that comes from the enemies that uh i kill like i said before and uh let's see what we got here I've been trying to keep my health and uh, speed up, and I don't because I don't want to go too slow because that's a pretty uh, noticeable difference, even when it drops a little bit. We're gonna stay with what I got, but I can jump, double jump, shoot. Uh, looks like I'll be able to get the ability to do like a sort of B attack later on. Ooh, I'm gonna hop over here while he burns. Uh, not sure what that is quite yet. Gotcha. And as you can see, they're uh, dropping bits of themselves that I'm gonna happily collect. Uh, so enemies don't actually do damage when they touch you, so it is a uh, decent strategy to, to walk through them and just turn around and shoot them. Oh, these rocket launcher guys are terrible. I've had a few instances where they'll actually just do damage, like they'll shoot the platform that I'm standing on and it'll just still hit me. Like, something's weird with the explosive range. Got him. I am very low in health. I think if I go back to the station... Uh, it won't respawn enemies. We might do that real quick. But uh, if you die, you lose a portion of your currency. I think you can actually go back to your death spot and recover it. I'm not 100% sure uh, because I've only died a few times. Most of those deaths are at the uh, the the uh, the boss. And when I went back down to fight the boss, there was no uh, currency there. But that may have just been because it was a boss. But other like one or two other times when I went to a area, I died and. There was a whole bunch of the currency there. So maybe you just drop your money and get it back. I really like these, uh, run right through you. These, uh, guns. Especially when they proc, there's some, uh, armor. Especially when they proc uh, your, uh, the fire damage, because it can go real good. A lot of damage real fast. Uh, let's see, okay. What's this new chest here? More health, it's 2,000. Not enough. Let's go to the left. Okay, right, cool. There's nothing here. What's that going to do? Oh, that just closes that for some reason? Cool. And burn. Cool. I actually can away from that shield to recharge. That shield actually felt vital for beating the first boss because he had an attack that uh, you have to like run and get into a, a little divot in front of him. And if I always took damage because you kind of want to stand in the middle because he has a charge attack where he rushes across the screen or attack where he fires a whole bunch of mines. You have to go to all the way to the left anyways to kind of hide from it. Uh, but after dying twice to him, I was actually able to beat him without taking any damage at all. Aw, oh, cute. You can do... Gotcha. Wanna take this? I bet you that... I bet I bet you those uh, things he just dropped, that uh, chest plate I just got is real good.
There it is. Yeah, look at that. It's red. It's got a whole bunch of health. Shield. It's 5,000, though. Uh, so there are areas that are branching path sort of thing. One of them is a missable area that had a, uh, like a work, like a worker safe station. Whoa. Uh, that, uh, ha he was selling stuff for, like, an outrageous amount of money. All right, we're gonna, well, we can experiment here, run on back. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Oh, gosh. Oh, now they're just all gonna come out of nowhere. All right, that's not fun. All right, so maybe I was crazy about the uh, currency dropping, but yeah, I did get to add one thing. Uh oh. Ow. Uh, this has happened before where I wandered into a thing where I couldn't really do anything uh, Because I was just taking Yeah, I can't do anything here and I don't really think that there was a split path. We'll go back down. I'm not sure though You can't uh, you can't move on the other later by the way you can look up and down though So I just died a whole bunch of times there and just lost Nope can't do that either I wasn't paying attention. I just lost a whole bunch of uh, my money. Got him. Teleportation research laboratory. There have been some chests that have been out of my reach uh, that I couldn't really get to. So maybe you get a like better jump later on. Oh, hello. Military to uh, torso. Oh, it's exactly what I had before. That's annoying. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, you can't get to me. Oh, no. I misspoke. I'm sorry. All right, now this is manageable. There we go. I, I, it's so funny that that elevator came right up there the moment I said something. It's like, ha ha, you can't, oh no. We'll head this way. We've got full health. It's fine. It'll be great. Elevator. Actually, that might be the elevator from the beginning. Oh, game. That's mean. I feel that you might lose too much on death with no real way to seemingly recover it. I'm going to probably die like right here. They leave. All right, cool. I think we got this one. Kind of stay out of range. I think my bullets are slightly longer range than theirs. Whoop. We got this. But yeah, this is what the game's mostly been. Just kind of wandering through these areas. Slowly getting new things. Got a new head. These are so good. The only issue is, like you saw before, uh, I lose so much money. I actually think uh, the portion you lose is anything you get between resting at the station. I know you're over there.
So theoretically, you could uh, kill a bunch of some enemies, go rest at the station maybe, and then uh, go and die. And then refarm those enemies and repeat the process. So I actually think this might be, yeah, here we go. Perfect. Boy, you're all going to get it once I get to, uh, hello. Oh, oh, so the electric guys are just like the same uh, weapon that another enemy had before. But I think you get the general idea. We're going to go open this chest and then I will let you all go. Military head, which I think I got. That's a little bit let down realizing that I'm getting stuff that's, uh, I melee does a lot of physical damage. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's an, uh, kind of sad that, like, I'm getting items that, like, are, like, hey, the bot just dropped this. Oh, look, there's a chest. Oh, it's exactly what they just dropped. But anyways, I am ZeroJD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Bye.